what we do here is go back, 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 back. Hi, I'm Richard. This is Cash. This is Miss Fry. Today we're going to be talking about four tips on how to keep your hair healthy. So the first tip is don't wash your hair every day. So Miss Fry? Yes, you do not want to wash your hair every day because your hair naturally produces oils. And when you are washing your hair every day, you're stripping those oils out of your hair and your hair needs those oils um, for a healthy scalp. So try to at least go every other day. Um, and then once you kind of train your hair to go every other day, then you can go maybe um, try to go every two to three days um, without shampooing your hair and just kind of see if you notice a difference with your hair is health. But definitely try to avoid shampooing your hair every single day. So for the hair thing, is it specifically different for every like person or is it like there's a set on how many days you shouldn't wash your hair? It totally depends. Um, you almost have to train your hair. Um, there are some people who say they have a really oily scalp and they are like, there's no way I can go, uh, you know, every other day without shampooing my hair. I have to shampoo my hair every day. And that's why we call it training your hair because you have to kind of get your scalp um, used to having all of that oil in its hair. Um, you can use dry shampoo. Dry shampoo is amazing. Dry. So the second tip is to Always use heat protectant. Yes, yeah, so every time that you are putting heat on your hair, if you're using a flat iron, if you're using a curling iron or a wand, you always want to make sure that you have protectant on your hair to help prevent any damage. And also make sure you're not setting your tool on the highest heat setting. So if you have very fine, thin hair, you want it on a lower heat setting. If you have very coarse, thick, curly hair, um, you could bump it up a little bit. But always make sure before you blow dry your hair, before you curl your hair, flat iron your hair, that you are spraying a heat protectant um, to help keep your hair from breaking off. Okay, and so for the third tip, what's like the most important thing with coloring your hair? So you want to be very careful with bleach because bleach over time can just snap your hair off. Um, that's why you want to be very careful when people do it at home. They don't necessarily know which developer to mix with it. Um, they don't know how long to leave it on there. And then they get in the shower and shampoo it out and their hair is just coming out in chunks or they notice they have severe breakage. So if you are definitely trying to grow out your hair or maintain the health of your hair, try to avoid bleach as much as possible. Um, color, on the other hand, if you're wanting to do like balayage, um, or an ombre color and you're wanting to use darker tones, that's not as bad. You still just want to make sure that you are kind of spreading out um, your application so you're not getting your hair done every two to three weeks. Definitely try, if you want your hair colored or you're wanting bleach on your hair, try to go at least like every six or eight weeks before you reapply that color to your hair. The last tip is to check the ingredients. Yes, yeah, so whenever you're using shampoo, conditioner, um, it's obviously best to use salon in products um, because you know the ingredients on there are going to be safe for your hair. Um, but just always make sure you want to avoid sulfates. That's going to be the number one thing. Sulfates can strip the oils out of your hair. It can strip the color out of your hair. So always try to make sure you're finding a shampoo and conditioner that is going to be sulfate free on your hair. So, and I think that's all the tips we have for today. Yes. So, thank you, Richard, and thank you, Cash, for helping us, and we'll see you next time.